Mr. Kagan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this very important meeting, and thank you for being here today. I've heard a great deal of your testimony uh, earlier in your other committee appearances, and I appreciate the fact that you are taking full and complete responsibility uh, for cleaning up this mess and for recompensing everyone who may have a claim, be it legitimate or, as somebody else may decide, a really legitimate claim. I'd like to put a little frame around this and then ask a few questions. Uh, from where I'm sitting, it, more, it really looks like uh, the financial collapse that we had. Because during our financial collapse, we had to clean up the mess, we had to catch and punish all the crooks, we had to make sure we rewrote the legislative language and the regulations to make sure that would never happen again. This CCR approach looks like we're having to come in here with this big leak in the Gulf. But let me just review and correct me where I'm wrong. Is it not true that a foreign corporation bought foreign steel, built some ships, foreign flagged, came in, and now as a consequence of all of your economic uh, investments, we've lost jobs in my shipbuilding state of northeast Wisconsin. We've got steel mills that could be hiring more people, but you chose to hire people overseas and spend the money overseas. Is that a, true or false? The, the Deepwater Horizon was built in a shipyard in well, Korea. Well, the answer is true. Correct? The Deepwater Horizon was built in a shipyard in Korea. So it's true that you took our money from the oil revenues and invested it overseas and hired people overseas and not in our great United States of America, and now we're suffering the consequences of it. Uh, with regard to your commitment to responsibility, uh, this is your... BP Regional Response Plan, the oil, response, oil spill response plan right here. And right on the front page you say that upon receiving indication of an oil spill or other chemical release that may threaten the waters of the United States, the following actions are critical to initiating or sustaining an effective response. And one of them is to locate the spill. And the second thing you mention is to determine the size and volume of the spill. And yet, according to the press reports, you're refusing, and hear your testimony this morning, you're refusing to measure the rate of spillage that's coming through uh, this leak, knowing, upon published reports of other newspaper articles, that there are other facilities that could help you to do that, such as the uh, National Deep Submergence Facility at Woods Hole. They are able to assist you. Would you be willing, yes or no, to contact the people at Woods Hole and begin to monitor and measure the extent of the leak that you have created. May I correct something you said or at least disagree with it? You uh, may. We are not refusing to measure the leak. This, this leak is not measurable in terms of technology that we know and have seen with industry experts as well as other government agencies. Well, we would, we would definitely... Well, back, uh, quote, you can use this type of technique to determine the velocity of the particles, and if you know what the area is, it's relatively straightforward mathematics to determine what the volume is, and that's Andy Bowen who is director at Woods Hole of such a facility, I urge you to contact him. With regard to your decision and the acquiescence of the EPA to use some dispersants, some chemical dispersants, uh, you're using Corexit, correct? Yes, two different types. All right, and w on page three of one of the MSDS sheets, environmental precautions do not contaminate surface water. So uh, another MSDS for Corexit, this would be for E. C7664A, uh, there's arsenic. Are you aware that there's arsenic in these compounds? I was not specifically aware of arsenic in the compounds. Are you aware that arsenic is a known human carcinogen? I do know that. All right, so you're aware that this carcinogen is being put into uh, our Gulf Stream, into our food web now, are you not? I'm aware we're using these dispersants in, in an approved way by the EPA and, and other government agencies. All right, and to follow up on your intention to be a very uh, responsible corporate entity and responsible personally, um, would you here this morning or this afternoon now commit to funding any and all studies to look at the long-term consequences of the dispersal agents that you're now using within the Gulf? I, I cannot commit to fund any and all st studies. No, I cannot. Which studies would you fund? Or is that a hypothetical question? All right. Is. So you, 
but you would agree that uh, it might be necessary to do some studies of the Gulf life consequences of your dispersal agent being distributed. Is that correct? I believe we are doing that through the protocols and monitoring as well as the natural resource And you'd also damage. agree with me that there might be some long-term studies that might become necessary. Is that correct? That may be true. And these long-term studies might run into the hundreds of billions of dollars. Is that possible? I have no way of knowing. But it is possible. Would you agree to that? I have no way of knowing. All right. So you have no way of knowing how much it would cost. And therefore, isn't it incumbent upon this Congress and possibly the administration to ask you to set aside for this government perhaps to freeze some of your current assets of your corporate is worth uh, 142.5 billion so would it be agreeable with you if the United States government would freeze let's just start with a number of 25 billion dollars for future studies and corrective actions that may become necessary we we have been very clear from day one that that we are going to fulfill our responsibilities as a responsible party under the oil pollution act i'll take that as a yes that you'd agree that twenty five billion dollars set aside and frozen no. might be a good idea i did not say yes to that all right so then i'll take that as a no is that correct is that a no what i'm not agreeing i'm not agreeing to that is all i can say okay and can you tell me if anyone in either of your corporations, uh, yourselves personally, are you too personally aware of anyone within your corporation having uh, changed the records or falsified any records within your corporation at any time? I'm not aware of that. Not aware of any okay. instance of that. Do you feel that anyone within your corporation would be criminally neg negligent because of the loss of life that has taken place in this accident? I have no way of knowing that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for being here. I see my time has expired, and I'll submit written questions that I'd appreciate your uh, complete and full and honest and responsible answers to. Thank you. And I yield back my time, Mr. Chairman.